Good morning and most welcome to our show today. This is the Leaders Front on uh, DGTV. Karibu sana and thank you for joining us. It's your leadership show. And once again, we have a fantastic show ahead for us today. We're going to be discussing a very interesting topic uh, that uh, is, is of interest in the nation and even in the continent and probably in the world as well. Because today we're going to be talking about a demographic uh, that is very critical uh, for the nation and for the world and for the economy as well. So we're going to be touching on matters leadership and the youth leadership in the youth and the youth in the leadership we're going to be looking into those aspects today so today we are privileged to have with us a, a leader who has been there uh, started leadership as a youth he was elected as the councillor for juja ward back in 2007 to 2013 and since then he's continually been involved in leadership matters as today he serves in the county assembly of kembu uh, in the Department of Sports and Youth as an ad administrative officer. So today we have with us Mr. Samuel Karyoki Mbogwa. Asante and Karibu, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate the invite. Mm -hmm. My name is Karyoki Mbogwa. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't work in the county assembly. Mm -hmm. I work in the county government executive wing. Okay. Because in the, de in the, in the devolved uh, units we have uh, the county assembly, mm -hmm. we have uh, the executive, mm -hmm and uh, we have uh, the public service. Mm. So we have two wings of the uh, county government. Mm. Uh, my background mm. uh, is business administration. Okay. And uh, I also did a, a diploma in county governance and administration, mm. having been one of the midwives of, uh, of uh, devolution. Mm. So we see sometimes the midwife is forgotten. <laughs> 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 and uh, he's only, he, 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 he or uh, she is only remembered mm. at the time of birth. Mm. So we are the people who did that, who mm -hmm. midwived devolution. Mm. It's true what you have said. Mm. Uh, I got into leadership when I was quite young, mm. and it was quite an experience. Okay, okay. You, you uh, gotta be learning more about that. You gotta be true. telling about your experiences mm -hmm. and the challenges as well, as well as we look at why maybe you then see the level of involvement of youth in matters leadership, sure. even within the political sure. aspect of it. Sure. So maybe just to get us started, maybe as you are sharing with us today, uh, maybe you'll go ahead and share with us your experiences yes. and some of the challenges. Yes. Yes. But uh, welcome my viewers once again. This is the Leaders Front. You're joining us on DGTV. Remember, you can connect with us on Facebook as well as on YouTube as well. So Mr. Kamioki, mm -hmm. how was it like for you? you? You dived into the murky worlds of politics at quite a young age. And in relation to a subject today, leaders, I mean, youth and leadership, how was your experience like? On the onset, eh, mm. let me set some things clear. Mm. Uh, leaders are born. Okay. See, when uh, in a nursery, mm. when, uh, when kids, so leaders are born. Leaders are born. They are not. They are not trained or. They made. are not trained. They are just born. Oh, that's interesting. In a nursery, when mm. kids are born, when kids are put in a nursery, in the incubators. Eh, mm. uh, this this one child who mm. cries first. <laughs> okay. And all the other kids starts. Right. right, that's sort of leadership. Eh? <laughs> when we were that's an interesting yeah, true. One. That's an interesting when one. we were young eh? mm -hmm. and we would go swimming, mm. there's this one who would uh, test the waters <laughs> for the rest. For the rest, uh -huh. and he, he, he would uh, test if the waters are deep enough. Mm. Swimming, mm. Mm. that person was a leader. Uh -huh. So, uh, you you start leading from there. From there, mm. philosophers say. Mm. That if you want to know, if you want to know you are a leader, mm. make two steps ahead. Mm. If there is someone following, mm -hmm. then you are a leader. That's an interesting. So one. personally, interesting. I interesting I realized I could lead when I was quite young. Mm -hmm. uh, I was an actor. Okay. So I had a following of people who wanted to act like me, mm -hmm. and uh, we we worked for Liverpool, mm -hmm. uh, fighting HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. And uh, I realized that uh, people want, there was a vacuum. Mm. So when you realize this, there's a vacuum, mm. it's very easy for you to fill that vacuum. Okay. And uh, I was ac uh, accepted by the people. Mm. Now, was there challenges? Mm -hmm. No. Mm. You, you didn't find challenges? Getting to leadership, you don't find challenges. Okay. Provided that you start, if you are youth, mm. provided you start early, mm -hmm. you be in touch with the people. Mm -hmm. You create conversion status. Mm -hmm. 
uh, what I mean by you create conversation starter, you create a, a space where people will start discussing you. Mm. Immediate people start discussing you, mm -hmm. and you're young, mm -hmm. and you're charismatic, okay. and you can be able to express yourself, mm -hmm. then you're good to go. Mm -hmm. The good thing about the youth is that they don't spend much, mm. because people know how deep your pockets are. Okay. At that time, mm. when I was running, mm. Uh, I was running against people who had a lot of money, okay. big pockets. In Juja, mm. if anybody told you about Chief Ngoba, mm. uh, people know Chief Ngoba. Mm. Chief Ngoba was filthy mm. rich. Mm. Mm. Unfortunately, he went to be with the Lord. Mm. We call us his soul in peace. Mm. We had Muragori. Mm -hmm. He had several lorries that was uh, ferrying sand here mm. and there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not that uh, they were unable to accept the, uh, express themselves. It's mm. just that I was better okay. at what I did. Mm. Because where there is a will, there will okay. always be a way. Mm. So to me, it wasn't challenging. Mm. Coming back okay. was tough. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting in, fighting was, back for the yeah, for the same back position. For the same position mm. was tough. Mm. But. Uh, Getting to the position mm. wasn't tough mm -hmm. because I had uh, I, I had already created a name for myself. Mm. People had started discussing me positively. Mm. I was a role model mm. for their kids. Okay, and uh, so they accepted me, mm. and uh, everybody voted for me. Actually, okay. everybody voted wow. for me. That's you amazing. see, most most of the times, mm. uh, a leader, a member of the county assembly, is mm. voted in by the minority. Okay. Maybe you did not know that. Okay. He's voted in by the minority. Mm -hmm. Because, like, for example, if a, a ward has about 10 aspirants, mm -hmm. and that ward has uh, 10,000 registered voters, mm -hmm. the aspirant who will get 4,000 votes Maybe the highest. Uh, will, will be having the highest. Mm -hmm. uh, 6,000 who will not have given him. Mm -hmm. So They divide the votes among the among candidates. The, the candidates. Mm -hmm. So you will be voted in by the, ma the minority. The minority. Mm -hmm. And uh, the majority wouldn't have wanted you to be there. Oh. But to me, it was the other way around. That is I a was, lot of goodwill. I, I, I was Do you feel you, you use the goodwill positively? Do yes. You, looking back, yes. Uh, yes. are there things you feel you could have done differently no. or something like that? No. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. There's nothing to regret mm. about my leadership. Mm. I had initiated so many programs that were beneficial to, mm -hmm. to our people. Okay. I was able to make sure that uh, uh, we had cash rebaras, about 100 of them every month, mm -hmm. employed by the county, the county council of, of, of Tika. Okay. And uh, that said, mm. I was also able to feed the elderly mm -hmm. one, uh, two times a week. Okay. Women with HIV and AIDS mm. three times a week, mm. uh, single mothers mm. two times a week. Mm. So I did my best. Oh, well, I did good. my best. That's good. That's good. Uh, I meet people. Mm. People still love me. You mm -hmm. see, uh, we, a pol when a politician is told that he's loved, mm. it's food for the soul. <laughs> uh, it's like a pastor. Okay. You see, when a pastor sits in the church that, that and mm. looks at the congregation, yes. and uh, they are jumping and dancing, <laughs> that is uh, that's his so happiness. That yeah, is it's food for joy. Him. Yes, it's. It's the same thing with the politician. That's mm. that that feeling mm. uh, feeds you uh, okay. and makes you want more of that. So you don't avoid streets on the yeah, road. No, 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 no. You're confident. That's ah. that's good. I think I think uh, uh, it's important, and I think uh, in relation to the topic today, mm -hmm. you know, youth in leadership. Yes. I think you uh, congratulations for Thank having you. the boldness to venture into politics at an early age. Yeah. And maybe what lessons did you learn that you feel you can share with other young aspiring youths who also desire to take the path that you took? It's important to note that uh, mm -hmm. it's a fallacy mm -hmm. to say that uh, youths are leaders of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that. Okay. So they are leaders of uh, today. You are a leader where you are. Okay. On when or when you choose to be. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you see, the, the, the guys who are doing this show, mm. there's that one guy that you're looking up to, mm -hmm. he's the leader. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so leadership is at every level. Of at society. every level. At mm -hmm. every level. It's only that uh, in our country, mm. uh, for you to, to, to venture in politics, mm. you must be over 18. Okay. okay. So immediately you click 18. Mm -hmm. You, you have the opportunity to ask for that space. It's mm. your space. Mm. But unfortunately, uh, even though you are 75% of the, country. Of, of the, the registered voters in okay. our country, mm. they, are, they are unable to use their strength mm. for their own benefit. Mm -hmm. Because unfortunately, mm. the culture of handouts has 
uh, uh, incapacitated mm. the community. Mm. And uh, what usually happens is that the youth mm. want the easy way out. Okay. Okay. In this life, there is no easy way out. Mm -hmm. You must fight for it. Mm -hmm. So when they are afraid to fight for it, mm -hmm. they give the space to somebody else who wants to protect his property. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, politics is power. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone lie to you. Mm -hmm. Politics is power. And politicians are very powerful. You okay. can just call the police station and tell the police station, actually, we to Mm. A journey that guy walks home free. Mm. Ama shika uyo mtu. Mm. We have seen it happening. Kamata, kama, kamata, mm. kamata Friday. Mm. That's the, the name that is given. <laughs> That's the name, Kamata yeah. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you can do that. Okay. That's why you see Keroche mm. industry, mm. even after being very wealthy, mm. the lady is already mm -hmm. in politics. Mm. That's wha why you see mm. uh, Jimmy mm. Wanjeke. Mm being filthy wealthy mm. and he's now mm. so, so actually politics has become a game of the rich so to say yes, yes. but now that that becomes our topic of discussion today mm. because we are asking ourselves today is is there room for the youths yes in the modern context of politics but maybe just to take us back mm. uh, because i know you are well familiar with the history of this nation mm -hmm. when we study the history of kenya part of what we see is the so-called independent government and you know the, the the birth of a nation yes we see the leaders who maybe later became took senior positions they started yes. quite a very young age most yes. of them were in their 20s yes some of them even found their way in the cabinet and yes. very high position within the civil service mm -hmm. or even in, in in legislature the parliament at a very young age so what happened along the way that youth have now been relegated to the sideshow to become cheerleaders and psychophones sometimes youth have youth are in leadership okay today Mm -hmm. We have Sakaja, mm -hmm. the very, super senator in Nairobi, yeah, so-called. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. the question we need to ask also, mm -hmm. uh, in Kenya, who is a youth? Because in political circles, um, anybody says they are youth. In, when in, they in, in Kenya, a youth mm -hmm. is defined for, uh, to be a person from age of 18 to 35. Mm -hmm. so that is on paper. But uh, politicians, they, they have a way of defining it, that they are all young. Uh, politicians? Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll say anything. <laughs> we'll say anything. Okay. Uh, right now, when when who was getting in, in, into 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 mm. politics, mm. he was called Kamwana. Yeah, young man. Yeah, young man. Mm -hmm. I, even just most recently, we are still we were still calling him Kamwana. Mm. Him being over mm. fifty. Mm. Raira Odinga mm -hmm. is over seventy. Mm -hmm. We are still saying he's young. <laughs> So, <laughs> young is relative when you in reach politics. <laughs> in a, mm. another level of politics. Mm. Uh, but uh, going back to now to the youth, eh? mm. the 18 to 35 age bracket, eh? mm. there is room for them to be in politics mm. because the constitution gives them a leeway mm. to be in politics. Mm. Uh, politics is not appointive. We have that position that are given mm. for affirmative action, mm. but we have that room for them to vie. Okay. Nobody is blocking them. Mm -hmm. Now, will they get it? Uh, yes and no. Mm -hmm. The culture that we have adopted as a country mm -hmm. has become very challenging to the people who don't have resources. Mm -hmm. That is women, mm -hmm. youth, mm -hmm. and people with disability. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have affirmative action to make sure that the, the government is all inclusive. Mm -hmm. But that w should not deter mm -hmm. the youth from uh, engaging into politics. Mm -hmm. Because you never know. Uh, people might be tired mm. of mm -hmm. recycling the old guards. Mm. And uh, the generation that we are in is more informed okay. than the generation was, which, which was there before us. Mm -hmm. uh, the rate at which technology is growing mm. is uh, mind-boggling. Mm. Because uh, 10 year, 20 years ago, mm. very few people had cell phones. Mm -hmm. Right now, even a child has mm. a cell phone mm. in your house. Smartphones, maybe. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So um, there is room for them to get opportunity to to, to run and to buy. Mm. And uh, if you venture into that mm. right now, eh, mm. you must be prepared. You must be informed. Mm. Because it is very important for somebody to be informed than an average person. Mm. You must understand what devolution is. Mm. Mm -hmm. You must understand what representation is. Mm -hmm. You must understand what registration is. Mm -hmm. Because 
you, you are not going there to dance. Yeah, yeah. It's work. It's work. Mm -hmm. And it's serious work because the work of representation, mm -hmm. you, are present, you are representing the young, mm -hmm. the old, and even the unborn. Mm -hmm. It's your responsibility. Yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, so when you want to take that burden mm -hmm. on your shoulders, mm -hmm. you must be informed. Okay. Mm -hmm of what it entails, mm. you must also be informed mm. of who you are going to argue out with because uh, mm. uh, assemblies are houses of debate. Mm. Mm. Okay. When uh, they bring a motion, mm -hmm. you are supposed to support it logically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from an informed point of view. But is that is that what happens in our, yes. in our county assemblies, yes. maybe in this case? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, what happens is that uh, our county assembly mm. do have debates, yeah. but unfortunately because of the culture of handouts, like mm. the one I told you earlier, mm. they debate, the, the debates are swayed towards the, 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 highest the, the, person, the person who pays the most, the piper. <laughs> you see, it's mm. said that the, the person mm. who pays the piper calls, calls the tune. The tune. Mm. So that person mm. determines mm. the outcome the debate. So that, that brings in the question here because mm -hmm. part of the cry in matters leadership in the broader perspective has been money has corrupted leadership, so to say, political or otherwise. The question then becomes, if, if we are talking about youth in leadership, can the youth change the narrative or are they part of the problem? Are the youths also, if the youths are also being influenced and bought, what are they bringing to the table? Are they any different from the old guards, so to say? You see, we can't blame the youth because of social ills and norms. Mm -hmm. uh, are, we, are we excusing them here? No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Our society is corrupt. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's our problem. I, is that accepted now? We, we accept it. That's the reality. That's the situation we are in. Okay. Uh, our, our, those who are our elders mm. encouraged corruption. Okay. A country where even a child knows that uh, a policeman is standing on a road to correct bribe. Mm. Even a child. Mm. Wale police, Kitu wale police usimaa pale wapewe pesa. Yeah. The child knows that that's not payment. Mm. A society whereby your child will cry mm -hmm. to watch cartoon before he eats. <laughs> They'll manipulate the parent as yes. well. Yes. Mm. Sita enda shule kama ununuli uh, uh, snacks. Mm. <laughs> eh? A society of blackmailers. So, are you, are you saying there's no hope? There's hope. This for the Kenyan society, yeah, this hope. if the problem has gone that deep and starting uh, from such a young age, there is hope mm. because uh, it's the way you will bring your children. Okay. Uh, Kenya is over religious, mm -hmm. and when a country is over religious, mm. uh, it tends to forget basic, say, basic uh, values, principles, or values mm. of uh, bringing up a child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, uh, spare the rod, spoil the child. Spoil the child. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, after over-democratizing even parenting, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a child can sue you mm -hmm. because you have whipped that child. Mm -hmm. But as a, pa as, as a, a parent, mm -hmm. it's our responsibility to make sure that things change mm -hmm. and they change to the better. Mm -hmm. It's important for us to encourage the youth. Mm -hmm and encourage them through good, good morals and good values. Mm. Unfortunately, there was an, an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate statement by Minister for Education just recently mm -hmm. that he said uh, homosexuals <laughs> can... Uh, are allowed to do their business are outside. To, to do their business <laughs> <laughs> outside uh, the school mm. or are, are allowed to go to day schools. Mm. It was unfortunate coming from a parent eh? mm. and uh, coming from a, a religious background eh? mm -hmm. but it's our responsibility to make sure that our kids are morally mm -hmm. upright mm -hmm. it's our responsibility and the responsibility of those in leadership mm -hmm. to create an opportunity for people to work mm -hmm. because an idle mind is the devil's workshop maybe on that aspect when we say the government has a responsibility uh, could we say the government is doing enough and i know you you are part of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the county assembly, yeah. and I think part of your docket is uh, youth and sports. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you feel you are to, Maybe I would give you this opportunity. Are there some initiatives that you are uh, yes, running yes. on the ground that can help alleviate that problem? 
As a county government of Kiambu, our first mm -hmm. responsibility is in sports is to nurture, uh, to uh, first of all identify, mm -hmm. nurture and promote talents. Mm -hmm. That part, uh, we, we are trying our best mm -hmm. to, 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 to get to that. Mm -hmm. Because if it's football, we have been paying uh, mm -hmm. for the year leagues, mm -hmm. uh, and, and, uh, and uh, we have done that for okay. quite a while. Mm -hmm. In 20, 2015, eh, the government that was there started Biashara Fund. Mm -hmm. Biashara Fund was a fund that was used to, mm -hmm. to promote uh, youths and youth entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. uh, the current government we have, been able, we have been able to do several trainings of youth entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. We have trained youths on AGPO, that's Access to Government Procurement. Mm -hmm. We have also been able to establish a new fund mm -hmm. that is about to be rolled by the, uh, out by the governor. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Genue Fund. Mm -hmm. Genue Fund is supposed to create uh, 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 create uh, youth entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. We also have Innovation Week that is coming just around the corner. Mm -hmm. Innovation Week, we are, we are going to identify uh, youth innovators in Kiambu County okay. and make sure that uh, we give them a forum and resources mm -hmm. to make sure that they are innovation. Mm -hmm. By the way, did you know that M-Pesa was discovered in Jekwat? Okay. Yes. So that's an yes. So it's coming. Yeah. I remember there was such a case in the media and yeah. issues of uh, uh, copyright and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But patent and all that. My, mm -hmm. my, my part mm -hmm. is my interest is on the innovation part. Eh? Yeah. The innovative the, the innovative mind that came up mm -hmm. that was from Kiambu in, mm -hmm. there in Jaguar. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that we want to get those innovators, mm -hmm. get get patent their uh, innovations, mm -hmm. and then after that. Mm. give them an opportunity mm -hmm. to excel. Mm -hmm. You see, when you get one innovator mm. and get that innovation, mm. that innovator can, uh, can employ like 20 other youths. Mm. It's a source of, it's a source you create employment. Yeah, for source of livelihood for mm -hmm. the youth. Mm -hmm. As a department, mm. we realize that sports pay. Mm. And what we have done is that we have made sure that uh, other than now, mm. uh, training people or training uh, actual athletes, mm. we are training uh, umpires and referees mm. and uh, coaches. Okay. okay. So those are some of the programs you're running within the, right now, yeah. the county government. Every time a referee removes his clothes mm. and puts on a uh, athlete's uh, uniform, mm. he's paid. Okay. And the least paid a referee per game mm. is 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. So if you have three games, mm -hmm. that's 1,500 shillings. Mm -hmm. Kaboboy, mm -hmm. uh, the referee that was at Afcon, mm -hmm. is from Jukja. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We have uh, like now other four referees mm -hmm. who are uh, now in the mm -hmm. in the Premier League. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. football has been banned. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. It has been banned uh, by FIFA, mm -hmm. but we have done our best to make sure that we create livelihood for our youths. Mm -hmm. So, back to the to the to, to the initial question: eh? mm -hmm. How what can we do for the youths mm -hmm. to make sure that they fit in the leadership? Mm -hmm. It's first of all we create that uh, opportunity mm -hmm. for them, mm -hmm. and the national government has tried a little bit, though it hasn't achieved mm -hmm. uh, by creating those funds, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, we we will go a step further as as Kiambu County. Mm -hmm. We will create uh, something called a BDS, mm -hmm. uh, B B business development systems. Okay. We'll pick you up, mm -hmm. see where you can do well, mm -hmm. train you, mm -hmm. train you on uh, financial management, mm -hmm. train you on entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. and then fund you, mm -hmm. fund your idea, mm -hmm. then follow it up to make sure that you excel. Mm -hmm. That way, mm -hmm. we'll have created youths who are working for themselves, mm -hmm. and they, they would have opportunity for uh, handouts. Mm -hmm. If you have a business that gives you 500 shillings a day, mm -hmm. it will be very difficult for, an, uh, for a person to come and tell you, leave mm -hmm. this business that gives you 500 uh, mm -hmm. a day, come to my meeting, mm -hmm. that will give you 200 shillings. Mm -hmm. So that, that will make it difficult mm -hmm. for politicians to invite the youth mm -hmm. to the year, meetings to their meetings mm -hmm. without paying if they if they want to to, to invite them mm -hmm. they invite them uh, properly mm -hmm. and they pay them properly okay so are, are you advocating the culture of handout no 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 because that's again is what you, you no, no, mentioned no. what i'm saying eh, mm -hmm. i am busy mm -hmm. so if you want to have my time mm -hmm. you must pay for my time okay so they should create proper forums yes and cater for any needs for that matter 
uh, you see when you create a, pro a proper forum that mm. will come and uh, you will come and sell ideas mm -hmm. i can because i'm a businessman mm -hmm. i'm an entrepreneur mm -hmm. i would like to know what your business will do to my enterprise what you are meeting or what your leadership mm -hmm. will do to my enterprise okay so i'll come willingly mm -hmm. without looking up for handouts mm -hmm. but when you invite me to mm -hmm. come and tell me about uh, uh, and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, what will that help me with mm -hmm. Have you ever listened to a politician speak? Mm. They lack content. Mm. If, if I don't mention Zach mm. in my address, mm. then I'm doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So by the end of the day, mm -hmm. it becomes a waste of time. But it, is, is it that maybe also, is that what, not what the society expects from our leaders? Someone said that a society gets the leaders they deserve. Yes. Do, do we get, do, are we getting the leaders we deserve? Yes. Even at the youth level? Mediocrity begets mediocrity. Okay, okay. Uh, when you, when, when, when uh, we have a middle class that uh, uh, want to vote for the president only, mm. Mm -hmm. then whatever they will get mm -hmm. after the president mm. are crap. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we get what we deserve. Okay. If we were to train people of what is supposed what are they supposed to give mm. if civic education was supposed to be done mm. and people are to be informed mm. yes so the next question that that person will ask mm. so now you have you'll have to explain mm. uh, will bring this kind of development so we have to ask the right questions ask the right questions mm -hmm. when you ask the right questions mm -hmm. that person won't be able to give you money mm -hmm. money is good mm -hmm. I would, I would, if somebody gave me money i would gladly take it mm -hmm. but it's after he answers my question mm -hmm. but will the money influence the decision no. at the end of the day it's not supposed to mm -hmm. unfortunately it is influencing the decision of the youth mm -hmm. the youth voter mm -hmm. the youth voter is supposed to follow up Mm. On, on government promises. Mm. Unfortunately, the youth voter is the one shouting there the loudest mm -hmm. how they vote a government that has failed. I'm not saying this one has failed, I'm just saying mm. he shouts the loudest. Mm. The go a government promises 500,000 jobs, mm. and then you are proud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our government says eh, mm -hmm. all the jobs that will be done here will be done by the youth. Mm -hmm. Then you see Katabira uh, is coming. Mm -hmm. You're proud. Mm -hmm. You see, before you crap your hands mm -hmm. for any point by a politician, mm -hmm. ask yourself, is it worth it? Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Is it worth the relation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, that's their work. That's what they, they want to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, must, you must first of all see, look at that leader. Mm -hmm. Look at the promises. Mm -hmm. Look at the path that they took. Mm -hmm. Number two, mm -hmm. when looking at a leader, mm -hmm. you must, like I told you, mm -hmm. you see, when we were beginning, I told you, leadership begins when you're born. Mm -hmm. If it's a youth you want to vote for, mm -hmm. look at the background of that child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, a child can be, uh, maybe you, that child had just left. Uh, high school, eh? mm -hmm. he's 18 years old, eh? mm -hmm. uh, but that child grew in that community. Mm -hmm. Other than that certificate, forget mm -hmm. about the certificate, it's, mm -hmm. it's very important to have that certificate. Mm -hmm. It's very important to have uh, that, uh, to be qualified, uh, mm -hmm. to be ac academic, uh, academically sound. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, what mm -hmm. have you achieved for the community? Mm -hmm. Because even that 18 years old is supposed to have done something for the community. At, at, at the level they were able to. At the level that mm -hmm. child was. Okay. What did you do? Mm -hmm. Did you sing in the church? Mm -hmm. Were you a choir leader? Mm -hmm. uh, did that, 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 that you, uh, what, what would it have costed you to be a choir leader? Mm -hmm. Did you volunteer? Mm -hmm. Cleanups? Mm -hmm. What would it cost you to, to do cleanups? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did you do for the society mm -hmm. as a youth leader? Yeah. What have you done? Mm -hmm. Ah, have you led mm. those who are of your age? Mm. Mm -hmm. 
but don't just so we must we must interrogate interrogate critically the that, that uh, are building themselves as well you don't just pick somebody and you don't know this person if he smokes weed mm. so if you pick somebody who smokes weed and puts mm. him in the position of leader is what mm. will happen mm. but end up with a bang in the you remember that story mm-hmm. just the other day mm-hmm. those people mm-hmm. who are who uh, were smoking bang in the toilet mm. they were doing it even when they were younger yeah. one how old was songo mm. yeah. <laughs> You, 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 we must we must be asking those questions ask those questions yeah. okay so so you're seeing some of these challenges still begin early yes. at the youthful stage yes yes mm-hmm. um, that's that's amazing so you know mr karuki just just a minute we'll be coming back to that and uh, mr karuki says leader youth are in leadership they are not going to lead tomorrow they are in leadership today but i'm going to be coming back to you to ask you a few questions mm-hmm. Because the question would be, you know, we've had the recent uh, voter registration, and part of the concerns of the IABC is the, the so-called, uh, you know, ignorance of the young people, and maybe they didn't get the result they were expecting. So we're yeah. going to be asking you the question, mm-hmm. are the youths giving up, or are they hopeless? Have they given up on the political system? We'll be coming back to you to discuss uh, that and more questions. Once again, this is your show, The Leaders Front. I'm your host, Dr. Kwangi, and our guest today, Mr. Uh, Karaoke Mbogwa, Samuel Karaoke Mbogwa, is sharing on the subject le- youth in leadership from experience. And can we change the narrative? And is there hope for the youth? And are the youth giving up? Join us shortly and we'll be back.